How's it going, everybody, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Box Box Boy for the Nintendo 3DS. Well, you probably would be able to tell it was Box Box Boy, the sequel to Box Boy, if the logo was on screen, but for some reason they started out with the logo not on screen. I mean, I understand why, and you'll understand when I press a button, but future me, how about we spruce things up a bit here on this title screen? It's looking a bit bare. Let's add the logo to Box Box Boy right smack dab in the middle of the screen, right now. There we go. That's the ticket. For those who don't know, I like to talk to myself sometimes and refer to myself as future me, and future me adds stuff to videos. Just little things here or there, kind of like the logo to Box Box Boy. Thanks future me, your job here is done for now. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and press a button, and let's get our adventure started. Well, here we go again, QB. It's nice to see you again. And of course, we're starting out with tutorials, so... This is the sequel to the first Box Boy game. And, oh my god, do I love the Box Boy series ever so much. Um, I'm just gonna have a whole bunch of fun playing through this game. And I hope you enjoy, because the Box Boy series are a cute little action puzzle game. I really love them so much. I'm gonna gush over this game so many times. And, uh, I hope you don't get sick of it. Okay, so let's drop the box there to make a bridge. And we have this button here, but we can't do anything until we have a button. Uh, until we have a box. That, um, first episode, I'm already messing up. Way to go, me. Uh, oh, wow. I took too long, so the hint prompt came up. Uh, but you place a box down to hold buttons. Just remember that for the future, and... There are collectibles in this game, known as crowns. Collect a crown and exit the stage, all crowns collected, to get a perfect clear bonus, where which earns you some little metal things, which are really, really neat. But right now, something's happening. We have a bit of a problem here. QB can only use one box at a time. Whatever will we do? Look, QB's so sad. Hey, it's that thing we saw at the beginning of the game. I wish I could understand box-to-box -box talk, but I can't, so I'm not gonna try to. But, that mysterious little diamond now allows QB to have two separate sets of boxes. So, that's where the box-box part of the title comes into play. And this is World Zero, the tutorial world, where we first get accustomed to our brand new powers. So let's make a box there, let's make a box here, and look at that. It's like a mini staircase, except we already did the thing ourselves. Alright, let's place a uh, block there, place one there, and now the gate is completely open. Perfect. Alright, so now we are going to need a box there, and a box here. Get the crown, move on past the gate, and exit the stage with everything intact. There we go. Got our crown, and we get the perfect clear bonus. I really, really love the perfect clear bonus. It's so good. Alright, let's move on to the final stage of World Zero. Two sets of two boxes. Uh, Alright, so let's... Actually, I can save on boxes by only using one. Uh, sometimes you will have to use the multiple boxes, but, but sometimes you can be a bit cheeky and only use, uh, and use less amounts of what you need. Um, so, I'm gonna do this, because I can do that, and then I can place that there, do this. Oh, I thought I could jump the gap. Oh man, I was hoping that I could. Maybe with a little more finesse. Alright, we got that, we got this. Hang on, I'm gonna try to jump the gap again. We're, go we're gonna do this. Ready? Huh? Yeah, there we go. We made it that time. 
All right, so now we're gonna need to do this. Now we're gonna need to make it like this. We're gonna need to stack it like that. And I think one box should be enough. Indeed it is. Let's finish off the stage after our sadly weak per It's It's world zero and I died. That's not really a good sign for things to come when you think about it. But there we go. The zeroth world has been cleared. Let's go to the world map. And now, I can officially welcome you to Box Box Boy. The Box Boy games are so charming and I love them so much. And now we have two brand new worlds that we can access, as well as a shop. The shop is now open, you can now use the medals you've collected to unlock special things. New costumes are available because we have saved data from the first Box Boy game, we can acquire some costumes from that game. So, let's go check it out by clicking shop on the bottom screen, and that will throw us directly into it. So, we have a couple of options here. We have comics, which replace the tutorial hint stuff from Box Boy. We have music, which returns from Box Boy. And we have costumes, which, you guessed it, return from Box Boy. So, I'm not gonna buy anything quite yet. I might buy a costume, even though I'm not really tempted to use a costume. Uh, I'm just clearing out all the new stuff uh, that you see. Well, you can't see, because the, bo the bottom screen kind of really is useless in the Box Boy games. Uh, we can buy one new outfit from this game, the Masked Crusader. What's more intimidating than a Masked Crusader after justice? Make your enemies quake in fear. Uh, oh, we didn't need to buy these, but we have the wrapper, the ponytail, and the superhero costumes. Oh no, we have every single costume, I think. Knight, Devil, Wizard, Ninja? Bunny, King, and Legendary King are all here. Wow, I thought it was only, um, a select few. It was all of the costumes. Wow, I, ever, I never actually knew that. That's intriguing. Uh, anyway... While I'm here in this hub world, I guess I can show you the bottom screen, what that kind of looks like, uh, because I'm really not going to show it anywhere else in this Let's Play. So, yeah, take a look at the bottom screen right now. We have a Miiverse option. That's pretty cool. And we have a, uh, we have a world option. We can select what world we want. We can do them in any order, technically. And, of course, a quick warp to the shop. Uh, but, now that that's all said and done, actually, we're gonna show the bottom screen again in quite a second, uh, not too long from now, because we are uh, heading into World 1, Bait and Switch. So, without any further ado, let's dive into Stage 1. Alright, two sets of three boxes, and now, really quickly, take a look at the bottom screen again. Uh, we can start over by pressing L and R if we mess up. Uh, we can also press start and reset by going to the world map. We can retry, uh, we can use the controls, or we can take a look at techniques, which are from the original- Yeah, they're from the original game. Oh, wow! I actually didn't know that either. I really probably should have played this game a lot more. Uh, but anyway, QB's dancing right now as I'm pointing out more stuff. It shows your box limit, how many sets of how many boxes, uh, how many boxes you have remaining, and your little crown indicator is there as well. And if you move any bit, there's also the hint option. Uh, to use a hint, you need to use a play coin. I have 296 of them. I'm just gonna waste one right now just to show you what that's like. I might be using it a lot, actually, in the future because... Uh, yeah, some puzzles can be very tricky, so just letting you know that now. Okay, so there's this here. We can grab our crown immediately. Perfect. Also, when all crowns are collected, uh, you have unlimited box usages. 
so that little counter goes away as soon as you collect every single crown in a level. Uh, for now, there's only going to be one crown in these levels, but I think pretty soon uh, it will expand to two, and I think there might be a couple stages with three crowns able to be collected? I'm not too sure. Uh, it's been a while since I've played through Box Box Boy a lo like really far into the game, so I might forget a lot of things about the later game, but the early game, uh, I'll remember... A good amount of stuff. Anyway, two sets of two boxes. Here we go. Let's move that there. And we only need one box right there, so let's do that. Okay. Um, we are going to need... Obviously, we're going to need a box. Let's collect our crown. Oh. No, that's actually fairly simple. I was overthinking already. Yep, overthinking already. Uh, cause that to go down there, and that there, and that will allow us to exit the stage. Perfect! Alright, there we go! I almost got stumped, almost, I'll admit it. <laughs> world Zero, I died for the first time, and World One, I nearly got stumped on a puzzle. Oh man, a really good sign for things to come. Okay, here we go. Stage three, two sets of two. This one is gonna be pretty fun because we have this bridge here, but it's not too much of a big deal. We can just do that. Okay, this is going to need to be like that, and we can only use one box there. there well, we had the option to use more than one box. I just chose to do the other thing. Okay, let's cause that there, and we're gonna be tossing that right there. Grab our crown on the way down. Hey, the first stage with Two boxes to be collected. There we go. It wasn't really that far off. Wow, the third stage in the first world. Wasn't it World 2 and Box Boy that first introduced the double crown? I could be wrong. Maybe it was World 1 as well. Alright, let's move on to the fourth stage of World 1. Two sets of three boxes. Oh, this one. Okay, so we're gonna need that to be as brash as possible, basically. There we go. Make ourselves a little staircase. And now... We're gonna need this to be like that, and we're gonna need that to be like that. There we go, excellent. Okay, this one... Um, no, yeah, it is gonna have to be like that, okay. There, there we go, excellent. Grab our crown before we dive down and have the chance of not getting it, although we could have used boxes. Although, knowing me, I probably would have messed up with my limit of boxes left to use and probably would not have gotten said crown. There we go, perfect clear bonus, and now we move on to the fifth stage of World 1. We are flying through these fairly fast. I do like it. All right, let's get up here. Now let's do that, there we go, drop down. And we can quickly erase boxes by pressing X anytime that we want. Okay, this one here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to do this. All right, get that. Press X, grab the crown, now we have unlimited boxes, and I think I messed that up. Actually, no, I did not. We have unlimited boxes, so it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, we are gonna need to... Yeah, we can just do that. Press X to erase, and look at that! We are at the exit. We are on the brink of the final stage of World 1. That's awesome. I do like it. Perfect clear bonus medals rain down upon me as we move on to the final stage. Stage 6, World 1. Here we go. Two sets of three. Let's do it. Alright. Uh, we're gonna need this to be like that. Or else We have a lot of spare boxes left to use, too. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Um... Uh, we can technically do this. Yeah, we can. I don't know how messed up that's gonna be for, um, later, but hey, we'll find out. <laughs> oh god, I'm kind of regretting everything. Okay, there we go. Let's erase that. Uh, we need to grab that crown before we have... Oh, alright, well, I was hoping we could just jump up for that crown, but I guess not. We're gonna have to do this. No, are you kidding me? Okay, 
I have 20 boxes. I can do this. Let's let's not do this on the first world, please. There we go. That's what I wanted to do the entire time. And those are going to fall in the... Well, well they would have fell in the pit, but hey. I'm just going to stop that before it can go wrong. And staircase! Yay! An official staircase with all of the six boxes I had to... I was able to use at my disposal, uh, disposal, I should say. There we go, speaking fast on the first episode of a new series. Way to go, James! Alright, and that's our perfect clear bonus for the sixth stage of World 1. So, let's head back to the world map. The picture is becoming more clear every single time we clear a world. With that, that is going to do it for this episode of Box Box Boy. Next time, we will tackle World 2 and World 3, since I assume that's going to unlock as soon as we finish World 2. Eh, well, uh, we did two worlds in this episode. Uh, two, yeah, two worlds. Um, I, the, lots of different games use worlds and stages, and it's complicated. Uh, depending on how long it takes to do a world, we'll do two per episode. If it's really long, we'll only do one. And let, let's just set those ground rules right now. We did that in Box Boy as well, so. Anyways, with that, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.